Hello and welcome to my Elite Dangerous, my personal fleet carrier, my second look, Beta 2. Well, we added all the services and uh, we better check that before we take off because then we'd have to come back here to turn them on again. We should have everything except for secure trading. That's a pretty sight. We have about a billion on the uh, carrier, and I think we have 2.8 on the cutter. So, and our weekly update upkeep I like is only 12.7, so I'm excited about that. So we have about 3.8. So, yeah, we have those that are landing and refueling, so we should be getting credits for those. Services, we got the bridge crew, the commodity trading, the tritium, depot, refueling station repair crews, the armory, the redemption, office, the shipyard, the outfitting, no secure warehouse, and universal cartographics. So I think we're good. We are good. Free space, 72%. We're going to go put about 16,000 tons of tritium on this thing now. So we need to go take the cutter out and find where we're going to pull this thing, and then we're going to call it. Is this right? Go up to carrier management, and that's the remote one, so we can pull it to where we're at. So... Okay, I think we're good. Sys left. Navigation. I want to go to Myanmar, which is right next to Beta Hydre. Or why don't we just say Beta Hydre? Then we're going to go to Myanmar, right next to it. And we're going to put the carrier either next to the first or second one. It doesn't really matter. It's 14.4 and that's 8.49. We can put it at Memoir 3. It's 29, Memoir 2. That's probably where we're going to put it. So it looks like we don't have to transfer. Looks like we can do it straight from here. Carrier service. Let's see if we can go straight to Memoir. Open the galaxy map. Myanmar. Next to Beta Hydra. Gonna 
gonna put this guy right up here. Carrier destination. Next jump, Myanmar in 14 minutes. Again, thank you for joining me. On this, uh, my personal fleet carrier, my second look, Beta 2, we have purchased the RGFC. We have all the services that we're looking for. We've used up uh, about seven thousand units of capacity we have 50 percent fuel and our jump is not too far it's only about uh, 35 light years so we have about 18,000 tons available and we're going to put 16,000 tons of tritium on board so that's where we're headed off to. See, I thought we were going to have to take the uh, fleet carrier. That we're going to leave the fleet carrier here and take the cutter to Myanmar and then pull the cutter. But we did not need to do that. Now your fleet carrier is indestructible. No one can destroy it. And hopefully we're getting paid for some of these landing and refueling and all that. Because that's the way it's supposed to work. We added a 15% charge. So to help fund the fleet carrier. A lot of traffic <laughs> and we leave in 12 minutes and 33 seconds hopefully they allow us to see the takeoff they did not in beta 1 they have not said they're gonna let us watch the takeoff so not sure what his deal is The uh, ramp up time is now 15 minutes. It was an hour in beta one, so that's good. And the cool down is only five minutes. But we're gonna be spending some time out at Myanmar. We cannot put the fleet carrier in beta hydra because it is a permit system. So we're parked next door at Myanmar. And check out some of the videos in my Beta 1 series where we have the ship outside of the fleet carrier when it goes off into hyperspace. And you can see it going into the cloud with the lightning and the roar and all of that. So that was pretty cool. And the, uh, when we go to our live account with the carrier there's different ship kits that you can get so different front ends and things like that and different colors and of course we're going to use the galvanized cobalt because that's what all our ships are set up in is galvanized cobalt uh, the fleet carrier takes off in a little less than 11 minutes and then we'll start transporting tritium to it. Make sure that you press that subscribe button. It does not cost you anything. It's free. You get notified when I produce more of these videos. And uh, eventually it'll help me out with YouTube. 
I only need about 16 times as many subscribers as I currently have. I do appreciate the subscribers that have subscribed to our channel, but we need so many more. Warning the ships nearby. We're, I'm in solo, so these are all NPCs that are flying around and landing at the station. And It has warned them that uh, probably in the next five minutes they're going to lock down the carrier. We do have a few, I guess, that are still asking for permission to land. So they might wind up being taken over to Myanmar. It's only about 35 light years, so they can get back. So, hopefully we get paid for even the NPCs that refuel. We do have a 15% surcharge. That's to help cover the 12.7 uh, million per week. And I'm sure it won't even come close to uh, covering the cost. Sure, that's going to come out of uh, the owner's pocket, which is me. That's why I uh, do so many cargo runs to support this thing. <laughs> we did have uh, 6.3 going into beta 1. We had 9.9 .9 going into beta 2. So we should be much better off than we were before. So we'll probably spend all of it too. Yeah, I like this outside camera. Let's get back over here. Is this right? Yeah, we do have 2.8. And we have uh, over a million in the balance of the fleet carrier at the moment. So we've spent about six, or a little less than six billion so far. After we put fuel, we'll be spending quite a bit more, but um, we had 9.9, .9 and we have about four right now. So it's, it's roughly around six billion right now. We have uh, a little less than seven minutes before we launch and head it over to Myanmar and it's only 35 light years. We could have uh, carried from Beta Hydra over to here, but uh, the fleet carrier was about 5,000 light seconds away from the the star that you come into uh, this system I made the uh, new playlist public for my personal fleet carrier my second look beta 2 so you'll be able to view those videos I have one being published currently And then as soon as we finish this video, we will uh, publish it. Yeah, they temporarily... And then they let us go back to the uh, camera again.
go back to the view. We got about two and a half minutes before takeoff. They're locking down the uh, landing pads. I have about two minutes. It's better than an hour, the 15 minutes. I don't think it costs any extra no matter how short the jump is. It's just based on the tritium. And we're only going 30 light years. So you will have 478 after jump where we started out at 5. So it's only taking up 22 tritiums to go 34. Supposed to be over twice as far, but uh, okay. We have about a minute. Like to see how far they'll let us see. We have about 30 seconds. Many people have been asking for us to be able to see the takeoff from this external camera. But in Beta 1, we were not able. It pushed us back inside. Nope, you saw the flash, but that's all you got to see. <laughs> and this phase count did not work in Beta 1, so I'm wondering if it's going to work this time. It doesn't take too long to do the jump. Oh, we're at phase 6. First thing we're going to do is go over to Beta Hydra and add cargo racks. And then we'll pull all of our modules that we stored at the station there in Beta Hydra over to the fleet carrier. And we'll finish uh, loading Tritium onto the fleet carrier. Yeah, we've made the jump. It says we're here. Sis left. We need to go to Beta Hydra. System map. And we're going to go to Yeah, Edmondson High, that's right. Going there. It's the next jump. We're fueled. Sis right. Sis right. We have 176 cargo slots right now, but we'll fix that when we get to Edmondson High. Let's auto launch. So we can start the uh, transfer of of tritium. So this is our first jump in loading tritium tritium is the way the frontier says it should be so we're off to Edmondson High to load tritium and we have quite a few loads probably at least 20 maybe more than that 20 loads we're going to add 16,000 tons of trit uh, tritium this view. Again, thank you for coming along. Please press that subscribe button in the lower right hand corner of the video. It's free to you. It doesn't cost you anything. You get notified when I produce more of these videos and eventually it'll help me with YouTube.
So make sure you catch all of our My uh, Personal Fleet Carrier My Second Look Beta 2 videos. This will be episode 2. And we might make this into multiple videos just because it's going to take so many loads to transport tritium over to the uh, fleet carrier. We have no cargo yet. Now what we're going to do, we're going to go to outfitting and we're going to load cargo racks. We're going to replace the fuel scoop and the extra fuel tank. We're going to pull those to the fleet carrier after we, on one of the loads that we uh, take over to the fleet carrier. We're going to leave the, uh, the fuel tank with the minimum amount of fuel that we will need. Yeah, they made us refuel. Tried to go straight to services, but first thing we're going to do is go to outfitting. And before I do that, I really need to make sure they are selling tritium. Commodities. doesn't look good. They sold it in beta 1, but I don't see it. Well, that's kind of disturbing. <laughs> Where did it go? It was here before. Make sure I'm just not overlooking it. And then we'll check the other stations here and see if they have it. Okay. Sis left. We have to try to find it first. Sis left. Sis left. My gracious. See if one of these stations have it. Maybe they just switched it to another station. But it was here at Edmondson High. But that's kind of disturbing. When we find tritium, we will start loading the uh, cargo. Yeah, that's kind of disturbing. Because uh, in beta 1, there was plenty. So, yeah, I'm hoping it's still in the system. I did check the system where we purchased the fleet carrier and they didn't have it. Sis left. We can mine some too. And if you're willing to uh, donate some tritium, you can put it in, you can use the uh, tritium depot to add tritium to our uh, fleet carrier. And we will be telling you where it will be. We'll be watching the forums for people that actually find tritium to buy. But 
but we'll check the stations here just to see if somebody's got it. Now when we get to live in June with the beta or with the uh, fleet carrier they'll be like I dare um, Anera, CZ, and others that uh, will tell you where you can find it. Now, Sothis Mining will have some, not a whole lot, but have a little bit. They had like a thousand tons. So we'll see. Until we can find somebody that's got it. And then we'll take the fleet carrier there. Nope, they don't got it either. <sighs> so this turned in, instead of purchase tritium, a search for tritium. <laughs> That's what it's turned into. We're searching. I'm hoping they just moved it to another station. Yep, gotta watch out for that planet. Sis left. Now Edmondson High might wind up with it, with the 247,000 at some point, but Sis view. They just didn't have it at this last check. this view yep lots of scans detected we have nothing after we check these systems or these stations we'll go to uh, near Sothis We can. We might be able to get a thousand tons from Sothis Mining. Now I think Ed's Edmondson High will get it. Maybe it was a day or two. It was a day, maybe it was a day or two before Edmondson High got it last time. We can always bring the fleet carrier back out here. See that was extraction. 
that one's extraction and this one's extraction that we're going to but we'll put a post on the uh, forum if someone finds a place to purchase tritium we'll, we'll purchase it we can find it I don't know. That's kind of weird. Is this left? Let's go out to Sothis and check uh, Sothis mining and, and all that. Just left. Well, we'll keep searching. Yep, that's where it was the last time that we found it. At Edmondson High, and it's not there right now, so try to find it. Sis left. Sis left. Yeah, it's security forces. Well, we tried. Yep. Yeah. It's not fun when your plan doesn't come together. <laughs> Let's see if we can find Sothis. Let's see if we can get it to land over here. It says it's out of range. says that's in range. And that one's in range. 
and that one's out of range. Okay, so let's come over here. Fifteen minutes it'll jump, and then we'll have to get some uh, tritium from someplace. We'll take the cutter over to Babbage, pick up the the python, and see about uh, getting some tritium to bring back. It's all about creating people work. Okay, when we get back, uh, I'll, ch I'll uh, go over to Babbage, grab the uh, Python cargo version, go to Sothis Mining in Beta 1. They, um, they had a, a thousand tons, so we'll check it out. is left. So we're off to Seos and Babbage which is 20 light years away. Pick up the python, go to uh, Sothis Mining. Sis view. And that Robingo and another one that had some. Welcome to the Federal 
Is this left? Is this right? Yeah, we have 308. That one, man. But be sure to press that uh, subscribe button. In the bottom right hand corner we're searching for tritium and as you could tell we still had 308 tritiums even after making that uh, 495 light year jump. So we're going to grab the uh, python cargo and go over to Sothis Mining and see about picking up some tritium. this left and that Rob Bingo was another location We can pick up 280. We're going to check here at Sothis Mining. Like I've said before, they had uh, a thousand tons of it last time in Beta 1. So just to see what's there now. And we'll load as much as we can load. I thought you were the master expert at all things. Man, there is none. No tritium anywhere. 
Oh my gracious. Is this right? Is this left? We'll pull all our stuff over. You found it yet? You found a reason yet? Great, even the tracking goes out. Like everything's wrong today. Is this left? It's all a mess. Yep, Oculus is totally broken too. You can't keep tracking more than a half a day without losing it. And everything goes hazy and everything moves and it's just a piece of good junk.
got to keep everybody busy. A little impatient, huh? Like, impatience, impatience is not your uh, virtue, huh? Please join us in the next video where we try to find some uh, tritium to purchase. We're probably going to go to Rabingo to the refinery uh, station because that's what I'm hearing on the forums is uh, in Beta 1 they were in extraction stations like Edmondson High but now they're in refinery. So uh, join us with the next video where we're looking at refinery stations for tritium, or tritium. So until the next video, thank you for watching.